old shoes. You've only got two feet, right? Those are very cute feet. Yes, they mm -hmm. are very cute feet. A lot of shoes, though. Hey, how about you use those cute feet to bring the cute butt right over here? Sit with me. Come here. Please. <laughs> Over here. See, I wish we could have done this. I wish you could have moved in right when you got back into town. Yeah, well, it should have happened before that on our wedding day. Mm. <laughs> oh, is this the key that you made for me? No, actually, that uh, that one belonged to Madison. Uh, I think that about does it for appetizers. We'll take care of it. Right. What are you doing? Tequila shots. Want to join me? You just got out of the hospital after being shocked. Not to mention the fact you're pregnant. And I'm taking care of myself, okay? But I can't just lie around. I have bills to pay. And decisions to make. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm going crazy just trying to figure it out. So could you please just give me some space so I can do that, all right? I don't know. This will be fun. My God, are you sure? Yeah, you know, Ryan and Greenlee moving in together. True love wins, and we get to help. We? We get to help? Well, you know what I mean. I'll supervise. That's what I thought yeah. you were going to say. Do you mm. think her stuff's going to fit in the car? I don't know. We got the trunk, we got the roof, we got the windows that stuff can hang out of. It's, yeah, it's I get it, it's a lot. I'm, I'm gonna go get some coffee for us and I'll really? meet you there, okay? You yes. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You had me a coffee. Mm -hmm. Thank you, baby. All right. Did they have any... I have to take off for a little while. Has everyone who needs to know been notified about the glitch in David's heart monitor? Yes, everybody's up to speed. Great, thank you. No problem. Wow, honey, again, very civilized. Why, because I didn't smash his skull in? It's progress. Yeah, well, he's a good doctor. He saved Haywood's life. I mean, actually, whether that's a good thing or not, that's up for debate, but he knows his stuff. Well, I just think it's great. I, mean, I don't have to like the guy, though, right? I don't like the fact that he's at the hospital here, and, I mean, that's completely understandable. Well, no, I was just thinking that it's just, great that you can move on. You don't feel it, though? You don't see it? He's like one of those doctors that thinks he can save the world with his scalpel. I don't know what care I ever saw in him. I'm so sorry that I just said that. It's okay. I don't think it's going to be a very easy move for Ryan and Greenlee. Come on, it shouldn't take that long. No, that's not what I meant. I just... I meant that it shouldn't just be us there helping. Zach and Kendall should be there, too. Spiky, that is the most beautiful dinosaur I think I've ever seen. I love it. Okay, my boy, um, you just make sure, Ian, you stay away from those scissors, okay? <laughs> I know, it's pretty cool, huh? <laughs> Are we going to make Christmas cookies this year? Christmas cookies, huh? Uh, I don't know. We will, uh, we will talk about the holidays later. Okay, oh, Ian, you, get, get over here. Get over here. You are so silly. you just like your daddy. Can you watch Ian, okay?
had to put Ian to sleep. Okay. Look, Mrs. Slater, I really do come in peace. I don't believe you. If I thought you were going to do something dangerous, I would have kept you at the hospital on a 72-hour hold. Like some crazy person? No. Like someone experiencing an overwhelming case of grief. But you didn't. That's right. Why? I guess because I trusted you. Chalk it up to some momentary lapse of judgment. Was I wrong? No, you weren't. Hi. Hi. I'm Dr. Castillo, a friend of your mom's. Um, Spike, you know what? Why don't you go and finish making that awesome picture you were making for me? Can you do that? Yeah? Go, go over there. Okay, thanks. Okay, now that we've established I'm not a psychopath, why are you really here? We have unfinished business. It involves Zach. Hey, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to blast you like that. Don't worry about it. Oh, my God. Maybe I'm, like, a little hormonal. That comes with the territory. Have you made your OBGYN appointment? I'm seeing her later today. And before you ask, no, I haven't told Ryan that I'm pregnant. Are you protecting him? No, I'm trying to protect myself. Make any sense? Because you're afraid he won't step up? No, I'm, I'm, I'm sure he would. I mean, he might freak or hate me, but Brian would probably put his whole life on hold to try to be there for me. He's just that kind of guy. Hmm. What do you want, Madison? I mean, it's all I really care about. Not him. You. What'll make you happy? I spent most of my life being told exactly how to live it. First by my father, and then by my husband. I just got used to thinking that that's the way it was supposed to be. And now? Look around. No one to help me make this decision. And until I know exactly what I'm gonna say when Ryan asks me what do you want to do, until then, I just can't tell him I'm pregnant. I think Madison knew that we weren't finished with each other. Maybe even before we realized it. When I took Emma over to the hospital uh, earlier to, to, to see her, she said that she doesn't want me to come back. I get that. And you feel guilty. We're all going to move on. All of us. I mean, I know Madison. Uh, Ma Madison's going to move on. Kendall is even going to move on and get through this, okay? Oh, really? Is that more shoes? No. That better not be more shoes. Thank you. Wow. You Look take... at oh, that. Oh, oh, sorry. Yeah. Standing there looking all pretty. Oh. That is fantastic. Oh, hey. oh. You know what? That's a sign of a real friend. Somebody who doesn't bail on you on moving day. Let, let me help you. No, Can I, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. No, 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 no. Let me help. I got it. Seriously. And a man is on our way over with some coffee. <laughs> well, I, I do appreciate it. Oh, for the love of Oh, I appreciate you. No I do. Being here for us. No problem. You do the same for me, right? Right? You do the same for me. I'm so happy for you, kids. I really am. This is, yeah. you know, no mas problemas. That's French for uh, living happily ever after. <laughs> yes, it That's is. That's right. It's important that I take charge of my life somehow. I get that. I, I really do. But... But it's not just your baby. It's Ryan's kid, too. Yeah, I know that. Frankie, if I tell him right this minute while I'm so confused, I'll probably cry, and then I'll want to lean on him. Okay, just think it over, okay? Get it clear in your mind. You owe that to yourself. Thanks. I needed to hear you say that. So long, everything I did depended on what was going on with Ryan and Greenlee. Does she 
need his help. Should he be with her tonight? I never want to go back to that place again. You won't. You're pretty tough. You got the bullet wound to prove it. Just don't push yourself with this work thing, otherwise you'll end back in the hospital listening to me yell at you. Yes, sir. Okay, could I get uh, a little attention, please? Okay. You said you wanted to talk to me about Zach. I'm listening. And then you can go. You know, the reason I came to Pine Valley was to help expand the Miranda Centers around the globe. There was something that Zach was very passionate about. I'm aware of that. Zach advanced me a significant amount of money to get the ball rolling. We were going to go over the details, but unfortunately, we never got the chance. Well, then talk to Bianca. I already have. But Zach had other ideas. He wanted me to be the point man at every new center that opened. He wanted me to make sure that everyone was trained properly and everything was running just fine. And then when that was done, move on to the next new center. Okay, you, you know what? This is something that we can handle within the family. You and your sister have children, obligations. And I'm guessing you've never had experience in third world countries. This is something that's huge. I have run my own business for many years, Dr. Castillo. Multitasking has never been an issue for me. Okay, but under the circumstances... Return the money to me, and then my sister and I will take over from there. Not to be blunt, Mrs. Slater, but if that's what your husband wanted, he wouldn't have funded the project through me. Is that why you're pushing so hard? The money? You haven't spent it all, have you? Well, hello. Hi. Could I get you some coffee? Yes, please. The stronger, the better. <laughs> <laughs> that kind of day, huh? Yeah. I don't think I've ever seen you in here before. You new in town or just visiting? More like passing through. Well, welcome. Let me know if I can get you anything else. Hey, thanks. It's Kara. Um, guess what? I'm in Pine Valley. And no, 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 I'm not here hunting down Jake. I actually just came to see you. So, uh, meet me at this place called Crystals. Okay? Can't wait to see ya. Bye. Hey, hi. Uh, can I get some, um, four coffees to go, please? Oh, come right up. So, uh... Where's Jake? Seems like that handsome husband of yours just works around the clock. Yeah, well, I guess it's one of the hazards of being married to the most dedicated doctor in the world. 